Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we are going to talk about how to determine, or what is the best way to determine, whether your lighter has a curved or straight flint tube. This was a question that we got a couple of days ago from Luscious Collectibles. He's a frequent commenter and viewer to our videos that I appreciate very much and also appreciate the comments that he leaves and the questions that, as in this case, sometimes lead to a video. So obviously we have the flip top insert style lighters that are generally going to be made after the same pattern may look a little bit different. This is a park insert we have here. You all are aware of the Zippo inserts and I can't think of an insert style lighter that I have ever encountered that didn't have a straight tube. Straight up and down the bottom, 332nd drill bit, pretty much all it was going to take to clear it out. Now, when we talk about curved tubes and straight tubes, though, typically curved tubes are going to be present in your automatic type lighters. So, everybody knows that the Ronson Standard has a curved flint tube. But to test that out, and apply these principles to this lighter the principles that I'm going to show you you need to have some kind of object that you can put up the tube that is close to the size of the flint or the same size as the flint the 332nd drill bit is going to be about the same size as the flint. So you don't want to be spinning that around. You don't want to be cutting into the tube or anything like that. Just inserting it until you feel resistance. And with that tube, which as I said is roughly the same size as the flint, it will only reach up in there roughly two-thirds of the way. So that tells you that there is a bend in that tube that this bit will not make. It seems pretty obvious to me from the design of most Ronson automatic lighters that you can tell just from looking at the bottom position where the flint and flint spring go in and then judging where they are going to come out. That flint is going to meet the wheel up here and it's going to go in down there. So that tells me that it is not most likely taking a straight path to do that. It is conceivable that you could have a lighter that could go straight diagonally like that, but then it would throw your flint spring screw down here off. I don't see that as a possibility. So if it's starting down here and coming out up here, then it has to take a turn or a bend somewhere. Now here is another example of a semi-automatic lighter where maybe it's a little bit more difficult to judge just by looking at the bottom. You might see this relatively short 
petite Evans lighter and the position that this flint spring screw is in on the base of the lighter so close to the middle and think well of course that's a straight tube it may be kind of hard to tell exactly where the flint tube comes out up here but the one thing you can do as we mentioned earlier with the drill bit place it in the tube as far as it'll go before it meets resistance and then you can measure from there and you can see it is now going all the way up in there all the way up to meet the file wheel and does so in a straight fashion no curve in that tube you don't have to use a drill bit to be poking around in these you can of course use the spring which if it bends you can usually hear it and even feel the pressure as it goes through the bend you can also use these small metal rods that we have used in the past for different projects but all you're really using it for in this case is just basically a measuring rod letting you know how far the object can travel up the tube and if it does so in a straight manner which on the Evans it does on the Ronson standard it does not Ronson standard is a curved tube but there are Ronson models like the Adonis and some of the table lighters that do have straight tubes so it's not like every Ronson automatic lighter has a curved tube but all of them with the shorter fitment the standard the princess the gym I believe both the heart and the Regent Junior that I had both had straight tubes in them I don't have them anymore to test or I would but that's the gist of it you can get a clue from the position of the flint spring screw on the base and where it comes out at the top you can also determine by putting something in the tube something straight you just don't want to make it so slender that it might make a slight turn whereas the drill bit that you might be trying to clean it with will not a few things to consider and a couple of different ways to determine whether or not your vintage cigarette lighter has a straight or curved flint tube and the idea for this video was courtesy of luscious collectibles until next time